Today, clinical problems are becoming more difficult in the field of psychology. People are very complex. Mental health professionals need more and more training to get it right. The SIDI program started in the fall of 2015. EKU had a master's program in clinical psychology for many years, and so this was a natural progression to build a more complete doctoral level program in clinical psychology. So the program at EKU is 120 hours over a five-year period of time, and it's fully accredited by the American Psychological Association. Areas of focus that are covered in our program include working with suicidal patients, assessing and treating developmental conditions like autism, working in forensic and correctional settings, assessing and treating trauma, and a whole host of other conditions. Most mental health professionals have to be generalists just based off of the nature of the variability of clients. Having more years of advanced study allows for the opportunity to really hone in and focus on the many nuances that deserve special attention that certain individuals and populations need. I think what sets our program apart is its focus on rural mental health. There aren't many programs in this country that are really aimed at um, training mental health professionals at the doctoral level to address the particular needs of people living in rural and underserved communities. The faculty at EKU are all practicing psychologists. Each one of us is actually engaged in clinical practice, and we often find ways to incorporate students into our work. I think the biggest strength of our faculty is all of the diversity in expertise and just different experiences. And all of our professors have an open door policy, so anytime a student needs someone, there's someone there to talk to. Our program really focuses on an integration between science and practice. A graduate student should expect, at least for the first couple of years, to be really steeped in the foundations of psychology, but then also slowly integrating practice into that academic perspective. So students start off in the training clinic that we have in our department. They complete assessments, they do both group and individual counseling and therapy. I think that's something that any training program should do. You gotta, you know, kind of throw them out there and let them get their feet wet and use the skills that they learn in the classroom to be able to transfer that into a real life setting. Students are also taught and exposed to telehealth technology as an emerging way to reach clients who don't often have access to the clinic. In the third and fourth years of the program, students spend a year and an advanced uh, off-site clinical training uh, practicum. And those can include things like counseling centers, correctional settings, state psychiatric hospitals, a host of areas. And then in the fifth year of the program, students complete a one-year, 2,000-hour internship. And it's essentially the last step before they graduate with their doctoral degree. Eastern State Hospital serves as a practicum site, and we host students here for 10 months um, 20 hours per week for training with serious mental illness. I think that having the training at Eastern State Hospital has been mutually beneficial. The students are highly professional and provide outstanding service for our patients. I think as you advance in this degree you find that you're treated uh, much like a colleague as you are a student and that's very validating. It makes you feel very confident. There's certainly a need for psychologists at the doctoral level. Programs like EKU that are training psychologists to go back to rural communities and help those people, I think definitely will be in demand. <laughs>